Okay, so you're Brad Pitt. That don't impress me much. It's good to be home for the fall. Beautiful weather, the leaves are changing. You love the fall? What do you think? I think that looks pretty good, huh? What do you think of my new bumper sticker? Uh, arts and crafts. Arts and crafts, that's what fall's all about, I think. How about we uh, do some cooking and comfort? Halloween is tomorrow, so I'm trying to get in the spirit. Found this pumpkin on sale for two bucks. We're gonna make it look real nice. And then we're actually going to use it in our recipe today. But first, we gotta show our support for the best cars that have ever been made. The last time I did this, I ended up slipping across the knife and cutting my hand wide open. Nice. Remember when I cut my hand open, went right across my hand. It was so deep that if my hand was lower than my heart, it would gush blood. So I remember playing soccer with an entire toilet paper roll of gauze wrapped around my hand. And I had to run around the field with my hand up in the air like I was constantly asking a question. It was rather embarrassing. Psychologically damaging. Just stab away. Hey. That's not bad at all. Put this light in it. Oh man, Saturn, I wish you were still a company because you owe me billions for all this marketing. Hashtag bring Saturn back. I would say that looks pretty good. I'm gonna be making some pumpkin fritters and it calls for a can of pumpkin puree. Now I could just go buy a can of pumpkin puree, but I just bought a pumpkin, carved the crap out of it, and it's gonna rot in a few days. So why not make food out of this? What's gonna happen is we're gonna do car oven attempt number two, but this time we're gonna be using this interesting pan, but we're gonna cook it with tea light candles. Maybe this is enough. I think this is a lot safer than using that stove on the last oven. I'm just gonna cover it and leave it alone for half an hour and not touch it, and hopefully the car doesn't catch on fire. Well, I did a last minute check. I'm glad I did because I'm an idiot and starved the candles of oxygen. So I'm gonna relight these and give it some air to breathe. So now what are we gonna do for an hour? I have an idea. I don't feel like waiting till tomorrow for roasted pumpkin, so here's our backup plan. Go on Facebook, find a post by one of your friends who has announced that they're on vacation. Proceed to go to their house, break into their house, and then use their oven. Okay. Oven, 400. Pumpkins, kosher salt, face down and into the oven. Doesn't fit. And into the oven. While you're busy using someone else's oven, make yourself some nachos, duh. How about some Gouda? Well, that was easy. Okay, that was about 45 minutes. Basically roast it until a knife goes through pretty easily. Let that cool for at least an hour. Or you could just buy a can of pumpkin puree. Okay, so the next step is to either scoop out all of the flesh into a food processor, or just go and get a can of pumpkin puree. Now just process that for three or four minutes. All right, cool. So we've got the pumpkin puree, uh, one and a half cups of that with two eggs. Here's all my dry ingredients. We've got flour, baking soda, kosher salt, some Parmesan cheese, rosemary, and a little black pepper. First, we gotta start heating up some oil. We wanna heat that to about 340 degrees. You should use a thermometer if you have one, but I don't have one. And check this out. This nice thrift store find. Two bucks, I now have a lid. Okay, let's start mixing these ingredients together. No idea if the oil's hot enough, so we'll just plop some in, and we wanna cook those for a minute or two on each side. That looks pretty good. You should always taste test the food you're cooking to make sure you're doing it right. Okay, so that looks like it's a little undercooked on the inside, so I should cook them a little bit longer. Pretty tasty, though. My car's gonna smell like fried food. Well, there you go. I made something. I guess those are pumpkin fritters. I don't know. I probably messed up about 12 different things, but they're fried in oil, so they're probably gonna be good. So, it's time for me to eat some of these and probably throw the rest away so I don't get sick or fat. Until next time, cheers. Wondering what you should do with your used cooking oil? I recommend putting it in a Pringles can and then light it on fire. And then light it on fire. And then light it on fire. Apparently it doesn't burn. How does, how do people have such huge kitchen fires? Oh man, why won't you burn? Come on, it's no fun. We'll stuff it with leaves, right? No, whatever.